Hey guys, back another vlog. As you can see, we're here with the hot dogs. Of course, you got this one, the main one, owner of the channel. And you can just swipe up and just flip the camera. Aha! Ah, Sorry with this one kid. Ah, but I still have one black kid in there. But he wasn't there today. Let's vlog the fat asses. Where are they? Fat asses. Do not operate while shooting. I'm gonna this. Look at this. This is new technology. You got your boy Hadai. Yo, we post it up in the lunch, son. Yo, what we eating today, son? Oh shit. Four main meals, bruh. That was barely 40 seconds. <sighs> hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy Mauricio Lopez back with another amazing video. Slash awesome video. Um, now, this is gonna be one of those videos where I just sit in front of the camera and just, you know, say whatever the freak I want because, to be honest, making gym vlogs every single time I upload is. It gets pretty fucking boring, so might as well, you know, just talk to you guys about some things that have been going on in my life lately. Um, I was gonna do a day in my life at school today, but since there was a lot of SAT and PSAT testing for juniors, and sophomores, and freshmen, um, they just relocated all of our classrooms, and I didn't have some friends because they were testing in my classes, you know, it's just a big mess, so. Today was not the day for it. And another thing I want to talk about is how Austin or Texas, um, last um Friday, yes, it got cold out of fucking nowhere. A couple of days later, it was back to 95 degrees. And then today, a cold front came and it just, and it's at 65 degrees and it feels like 50 degrees because there's so much wind. To be honest, um, that's pretty fucking insane if you ask me. But you know, whatever, um. And also, oh, the topic that I wanted to talk about is how weightlifting changed my life, you know. I've said this in previous videos, but I want to emphasize a little bit more about the topic today because weightlifting slash bodybuilding slash powerlifting slash whatever kind of um, lifting you do can change your life and it really can and it really impacts your life the right way if you do it um, the right way. Before weightlifting, I had no discipline. I had no um, dedication, no determination in my life, you know, and it just, when I started weightlifting, I completely fell in love with it, you know. Some people don't, some people don't fall in love with weightlifting, but I did, you know, um, and that's mainly because I was born for it. Um, I don't have the best genetics. I have really long limbs. I'm 5'9", but I have a wingspan of 6'3", so it's gonna be a while until I fill out my arms. And plus, I have really long bicep heads. Um, that they're not like those short aesthetic biceps. I have really long biceps, and it's gonna take just a while till I fill out my arms and fill out my frame. But one of my, you know, my strongest points in my physique is are my quads and my legs, except for my calves. I really have to work on those, obviously. Um, and for my upper body. I have a short torso, I have, um, and my body fat distribution is simply pathetic, which means 75 to 80% of my fat that I store, I store it from my um, tits to my love handles, which basically means that that is the last spot where I will be losing body fat now that I'm going to a cut, I'm like 168 pounds, that's insane. I was a couple years ago, or my sophomore years, um, I just came from losing a lot of weight and I was, you know, really skinny fat, so I was like 150 pounds, but now I'm 168 pounds, so that means I gained like 18 pounds of just lean muscle, which is good over, over the course of a year, which is, you know, pretty darn good, to be honest, if you ask me. And so back to what I was saying, you know, my body fat distribution is simply not on point I don't have the best genetics but I wouldn't consider myself also to have terrible genetics I mean um I have you know really nice legs I have I have a chest my back is for me really well I have um really wide clavicles I have um but but my waist isn't the tiniest or I'm not sure if it's you know small or not because I store all my fat 
in my waist area and I'm sitting at like 18 to 20 percent body fat which will be going down over the course of the weeks and months um, my goal is to be 145 to 150 pounds depending on how I look and finally be able to see my abs for the first time in my life because that's something I've just never been able to see my abs my abdominals um so yeah I'm giving myself mm, 90 to 100 days you know about three months to three months and a half to lose 15 to 20 pounds I think that's a pretty reasonable rate you know um I'm not sure exactly how much pounds I have to lose a week but it's somewhere from one to two pounds which is really manageable I just have to do a little bit more cardio and eat a little bit less you know um fix up my diet a little bit more increase my protein decrease my fats and carbs and over time I will develop a tremendous physique it's a shame man the gym shark lifting um I think Gym shark lifting me, you know, it's happening in Houston and I live in Austin and that's October 19th and 20th and I'm gonna be working man, it sucks that I really wanted to go to see, you know, my, you know, the people that I look up to, you know, Lex Little, Face Sensor, um, David Laid, um, Dylan McKenna, Stephen Cow, Chris Bumstead, the Olympia, um, the guy who won the Classic Physique Olympia this year. That will be a, just a dream come true because my dream is to also be a bodybuilder. I'm not sure if I want to be an Olympia because, you know, there's too much sacrifices you, you have to make, such as taking steroids, you know, taking drugs. Well, what I mean by drugs is not like um, cocaine or like um, heroin, but just like, you know, steroids. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's really everything I wanted to talk about in today's video and... Mm. If you start weightlifting, you know, let's say that you've never weightlifted in your life and or you've done it but you really haven't had a chance to fall in love with it, you know, stick to it for three months, you know, and I promise you if you push yourself you will fall in love with the results you get in your body because it just changed my life and I really believe it can change yours. So this is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy. You know, just remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.